Imagine yourself standing beneath a vast night sky where stars are scattered like glowing embers across a deep, velvety darkness. Among them, one star stands out a faint reddish light within the Orion constellation. That star is Betelgeuse, a massive celestial body that has been burning for millions of years. But something about it has begun to change, drawing the attention of astronomers around the world. Telescopes are now closely monitoring this distant giant because something extraordinary may be unfolding. Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars, visible from Earth, could be nearing a spectacular and violent end, a supernova. This explosion would light up the night sky with a brilliance comparable to a second sun. So, what exactly is happening 725 light years away? And why should it matter to us here on Earth? Betelgeuse is no ordinary star. It is a red supergiant and enormous stellar body so massive that if it were placed where our sun is now, it would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in its vast girth. Its diameter is approximately 764 times that of the sun. To comprehend this scale, imagine comparing a grain of sand to a beach ball our sun being the grain and Betelgeuse the ball. With a mass roughly 20 times greater than the sun's, Betelgeuse has lived a fast and intense life, while our sun, a relatively stable yellow dwarf, is expected to shine for around 10 billion years, Betelgeuse is already approaching the end of its life at just 8 million years old. Throughout history, humans have looked up at Betelgeuse, mesmerized by its reddish glow and flickering brightness. Ancient Chinese astronomers referred to it as the Fire Star, a name that suits its warm hue and vivid presence in the sky. But Betelgeuse isn't just known for its color. It pulsates brightening and dimming in regular cycles of about. For hundred days, with longer fluctuations spanning years, these shifts are not random. They are signs of dramatic changes occurring within the star itself. Deep inside, Betelgeuse is running low on fuel. It has already burned through its hydrogen and helium and is now fusing heavier elements. Each successive stage of fusion is shorter and more intense, a clear signal that the star is nearing its final phase. In late 2019, something remarkable occurred. Betelgeuse began to dim dramatically. By February 2020, its brightness had decreased to less than half of what had ever been recorded before. Even casual stargazers could see the change with their unaided eyes. Scientists quickly turned their attention to what became known as the Great Dimming. Was this a sign that Betelgeuse was about to go supernova? The question stirred excitement across the scientific community. Observatories worldwide, including space-based ones like Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope, focused on the star to try to understand what was happening. What they discovered was astonishing. Betelgeuse had expelled a tremendous amount of gas and dust so much that it formed a massive cloud blocking a portion of the star's light. This wasn't a small release of material. The star had ejected the equivalent of 400 billion solar flares, an immense outpouring of mass. Imagine our sun spitting out something the size of a small planet and then multiply that by billions. That's what Betelgeuse did. As this cloud cooled, it formed a dusty veil that shrouded the star, causing the observed dimming. But was this an ordinary event for a red supergiant, or did it hint at something far more serious a signal that Betelgeuse's core was preparing to collapse? To understand the gravity of this event, we need to explore how stars like Betelgeuse function. Stars are fueled by nuclear fusion, a process where atoms are forced together under immense pressure and temperature, releasing vast amounts of energy. Betelgeuse began its life as a hot blue star, shining with incredible intensity. Over time, it cooled and expanded into the red supergiant we see today. Its surface temperature is about 3,500 Kelvin much cooler than the sun's 5,500 Kelvin which gives it that familiar reddish tint dot inside the star, a fierce struggle continues. As Betelgeuse exhausts its supply of lighter elements, it begins fusing heavier ones like carbon and oxygen. Each fusion stage yields less energy and happens more quickly, like a campfire burning its last pieces of wood. Eventually, whether in a few decades or 100 
thousand years, the core will run out of fuel completely. When that happens, gravity will instantly take over, causing the core to collapse in a matter of seconds. This sudden collapse will trigger a shockwave that explodes outward, tearing the star apart in a supernova. Such an explosion would shine brighter than an entire galaxy for several weeks. If it happened in our lifetime, it could be visible during the day, possibly rivaling the brightness of the moon. However, there's an important twist. Betelgeuse is 725 light years away, which means we are observing its past, the light we see. Today left the star when medieval nights still walk the Earth. If Betelgeuse exploded yesterday, we wouldn't know about it for another 700 years. This time delay means studying Betelgeuse is like reading a history book with missing pages. Every dimming event or flicker is a glimpse into something that happened long ago. Nevertheless, astronomers are piecing together its story, using every available tool to forecast what might happen next. One particularly revealing clue came from Hubble's observations. Scientists found that Betelgeuse had released superheated plasma from a massive convection cell an enormous, boiling region on the star's surface. As the plasma cooled, it formed dust that drifted outward, temporarily blocking the star's light. This wasn't just a random outburst, it may have been part of Betelgeuse's chaotic final chapter. Some experts believe this could indicate the star is starting to shed its outer layers, a sign that its core is becoming unstable. Others argue that this behavior is simply part of its normal, if unpredictable, variability like a heartbeat skipping a beat dot. So what would a supernova from Betelgeuse mean for Earth? Thankfully, we're in no danger at 725 light years away. The explosion wouldn't harm us with radiation or debris. But it would offer a spectacular view dominating the night sky for weeks and becoming a beacon from Orion's shoulder. It would be a once in a thousand year event, the kind ancient civilizations would have watched in awe. Beyond the visual wonder, it would be a treasure trove of scientific data. Supernovas create heavy elements like gold and iron, the very ingredients that form planets and life. By observing Betelgeuse's explosion, Scientists could learn more about how stars distribute these elements throughout the cosmos. Betelgeuse's transformation has been tracked for centuries. Historical records suggest the star's color has shifted over time. Roman and Chinese astronomers described it as yellowish 2,000 years ago, while by the 9th century, Arabic scholars noted its red hue. These observations support the idea that Betelgeuse has been slowly cooling and expanding over the ages. Its pulsations add to the mystery. Sometimes it follows its 400-day cycle predictably. Other times it brightens or dims unexpectedly, defying current models of stellar behavior. Today, scientists are watching Betelgeuse more closely than ever. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its advanced infrared sensors, can see through the dust clouds that once obscured Hubble's view. It's revealing new details about the star's outer layers, where material is constantly bubbling and being ejected into space. Each new observation adds another piece to the puzzle. But the ultimate question remains, when will Betelgeuse explode? Some believe it could happen within our lifetime a cosmic fireworks display we'd be fortunate to witness. Others think it might take tens of thousands of years. Regardless, Betelgeuse is a ticking cosmic time bomb, and we are lucky to be watching its final chapters unfold. Studying a star like Betelgeuse isn't just about observing one celestial object. It's about unlocking the secrets of the universe. Itself, stars like Betelgeuse are the forges where the elements of life are created. When it finally goes supernova, it will scatter those building blocks into space, potentially laying the foundation for new stars and planets. This reminds us that we are connected to the cosmos. The atoms in our bodies were once formed in the cores of stars like Betelgeuse. As we watch it today, we are looking at a message from the distant past a story that began long before humanity existed, but one that still shapes our future. A uh, supernova would be a rare and powerful experience inspiring new generations of scientists artists, and dreamers.
From the stargazers of ancient civilizations to the astrophysicists of today, Betelgeuse has always been a symbol of cosmic wonder. So the next time you look up at Orion, search for the red star on its shoulder, that's Betelgeuse a giant nearing. The end of its journey, possibly preparing for a breathtaking finale. We don't know exactly when it will happen, but we do know this. The universe is dynamic, alive, and filled with astonishing events. For now, all we can do is watch, wait, and marvel at the incredible drama unfolding in the sky above us.